How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on a garage door. Alright, this is what Rick did. He put the garage door down and left his creeper in the garage door and as it went down, the sensor must have went right between the creeper, right between here, the creeper and the uh, eye. So the laser was still going down through there, but the garage door set down on the top of here and ripped the bolts out of it. So all we're going to do is drill all the way through there and put some stove bolts in it. I apologize for the lighting in here. But you can see right up there in the center of the screen right there, you can see, let me get my finger up here, see, right there. You can see where the bolts pulled right out of the garage door. And I'll show you the bolts where they come out from the garage door opener. The bolts on the garage door opener are right there, right below the garage door. They're just hanging. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill right through the door and we're going to put some stove bolts in there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drill these out. We've got a 5 16 bit here. And we're using a 5 16 bolt also, but this is we need it to fit tight because we're using a stove bolt. Give me something to push it, maybe a Phillips screwdriver. What a person does for a video, ain't it? Mm -hmm. So there you can see where they ripped out, and there's where I broke the one uh, drill bit off. We're gonna try to get this. Now we're outside. Do is slide our bolts through. They're a little bit tight. Huh? So we'll do all four of these in our holes. We'll probably have to cut them off, Rick. No? So you get the idea here. So once we got them screwed in there, we'll give them a little tap. So that square edge. All right, we got our bolts in, we'll go inside and tighten them up. All right, now that we got our uh, bolt all in there, we're gonna slide our washers up on here. We got a washer, and then we have a lock washer, and then a nut for each one of them. So we'll get all these on. And you'll need somebody outside there to hold them on. Rick's out there holding them down for me. Now, it's a possibility we might have to cut these off, but I don't think we have to. If we did, it's just gonna be for looks. And I think if we happen to do something like this again, we might have to buy the whole panel because being bolted all the way through, it's probably going to be a little tight, stiff in there. So all I did was get my ratchet out and give them a good tighten. But you don't want to tighten them too tight because if you tighten them too tight, you're going to squish your door. And you don't want to squish your door.
All right, we're back in business. Just took a couple minutes to fix it, but I do believe the next time we might be in trouble. Works good. Okay, that's how we fixed the garage door. Uh, I think it'll hold up really well. You may want to put just a little bit of Loctite on them. We got lock washers on there, but a little Loctite probably wouldn't hurt either. So I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.